good evening dear friends colleagues sisters and brothers ladies and gentlemen peace be almighty allah from you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i am very honored i feel very honored to speak at this great convention myanmar muslim genocide awareness convention 2016 it is extremely important for our country myanmar first of all i would like to say myanmar muslims are not associate citizens of burma but they are bona fide citizens of burma burma is our ancestral land burma is our motherland arkan state of burma is our ancestral land arkan state is motherland of rohingya rohingya are not illegal immigrant rohingyas are bona fide citizen of arkan Rohingya did not occupy Burma, but Burma occupied the land of Rohingya. <laughs> Today, Burmese government is accusing that we are illegal immigrants. The reality, the reality is Rohingyas are indigenous ethnic race of Arkan. I have a reason why I am saying citizens of Arkan. Arkan is once an independent kingdom, nothing concerned with Berber. Genocidal Rohingya in fact started in 1942 in Arkan state. Thousands of Rohingya were killed in central and southern Rakhine state. Thousands of innocent children were massacred by extreme Rakhine Thakane groups. Thousands of Rohingya fled from south to north of Arkan state. Similarly, many Rakhine fled to from north to south of Arkan state without natural fear. This is the reason why in northern Rakhine state has more Rohingya, not because of illegal migration. It's very important to, to note it. But Burmese government have been propagating that Bengalis from Bangladesh are migrating to Arkan. This is not true, absolutely not true. After the independence of Burma, Rohingya were recognized by the first democratic government of Burma, led by Prime Minister Unu. After the military coup in 1962, the notorious dictator General Nguyen initiated a systematic ethnic cleansing and slow burning genocide by so many operations against Rohingya, Muslim. Among them, Operation Dragon, in Burmese we call Nagame Sisse, is the most notorious one in that time. As a 13 years old boy, I saw with my eye the place of Rohingya in 1978. After that, dictator Unewe introduced associate citizenship status and 1982 citizenship law, which violates not only 1947 constitution, but also 1974 constitution of Burma. 1982 citizenship law is, in fact, not a citizenship law, but a weapon to conduct ethnic cleansing and genocide of not only Rohingya Muslim, but also all Myanmar Muslim across the nation. In 1988, Myanmar people, including all Myanmar Muslim, participated to step down notorious dictator General Newe and hard work for democracy. 
In this point, I would like to remind that 1988 revolution for democracy was not initiated of NLD, but it was initiated of 88 generation students. All Myanmar Muslim and Rohingya Muslim students participated in 1998 democracy movements. In the wake of 1990 election, NLD party became popular and almost all Myanmar people supported NLD with the hope of democracy, justice, liberty, and equality for all. A lot of Myanmar Muslims and Rohingya Muslim activists are sacrificed for the NLD. In 1993, military regime, so-called SLOC, State Law and Order Restoration Council, made an ethnic cleansing and campaign against Rohingya Muslim. Therefore, a lot of Rohingya were persecuted, harassed, arrested, and killed during compulsory labor for construction of new military regiments in the Northern Rakhai State. The Slok government also introduced border immigration headquarters, so-called NASAKA, but the main objective of NASAKA is not for the border immigration but for the prosecution of Rohingya and systematic implementation of ethnic cleansing under the direct command of SLOC Secretary 1, Lieutenant General Kinyu. I worked for United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees from 1994 to 2000 in Northern Rakhine State. I experienced policy of Myanmar government toward Muslim and prosecution against Rohingya in 1994 Against the will of Rohingya Muslim, the Slok government introduced an issue white card, which is against the will of the Rohingya. But some activists are accusing that that white cards are only issue just for the election of 2015, which is not true. It was introduced in 1994. In November 2010, I was elected as a member of parliament from Budidom constituency, Arkan State. Since then, I have been loudly speaking, not only at the parliament, but also at the USDB headquarters, party headquarters, for the plights of Rohingya. But instead of solving the problem, President U Teng Singh government branded Rohingya as illegal immigrant from Bangladesh. At the same time, some extreme Rakhine politicians uh, dance on the floor of ethnic cleansing and genocide together with Uteng Singh government. 2012 violence of Arkan State is not communal violence. It was violence against Myanmar Muslim, Rohingya Muslim, and Khmer Muslim. It was pre-planned, systematic, well-coordinated crime against humanity and ethnic cleansing and genocide. The reason why I'm saying is perpetrators have not yet put before the justice. In 2013, Burmese government stepped up their ethnic cleansing and genocide operation against Myanmar Muslim in central Myanmar. You know NLD member of parliament from Mektila Uwente. He blamed Muslim instead of blaming extremists. Now he is spokesperson of NLD. Quite surprising. Think about it. NLD leader and democracy icon Dong San Suu Kyi was silent in all violences against Muslim. She did not focus on human rights violation of minority, but did for the power. In 2015, President Tengsen revoked white cards from the Rohingya. And revoked voting rights and amended political party registration law, parliamentary election law to exclude Rohingya from the election in November 2015. Then introduced national verification card. 
The name is very beautiful. In English, it sounds very, very nice. National verification card. But in fact, in Myanmar, this is not national verification, it's cheating. In Myanmar, let me translate. When they translate to the English, they call national verification. It is a lie to international community. Even, even NLD government was telling we are doing according to 1982 law. Today I would like to confirm NBC card is not included in any law and procedure of 1982 law. This is out of law. So this NBC card to replace previous white card, although NBC card names imply national verification, its real function is to alienate Rohingya legally. Despite international criticism, NLD leader was silent. In that time, Dong San Suu Kyi is making a deal with military generals and USDB for her power. Therefore, NLD leadership and its MPs are cooperated with USDP and Uthensin government to disenfranchise Rohingya from the election and to exclude all Myanmar Muslims from politics. I will witness anytime, anywhere. This is a conspiracy of USDP and NLD to exclude all Myanmar Muslims from the politics of Myanmar. This is a big crime. And again, almost all Myanmar Muslim and almost all Rohingya candidate were denied for the election 2015 by accusing them they are not citizen. I am one of the embodiment. So therefore, I call it, this is a crime against humanity, an act of ethnic cleansing. If not, I want to ask everyone, what is that? What it means? Whatever, some Myanmar Muslim also and some Rohingya Muslim are expected a little relief from NLD. If NLD win, maybe something better. Therefore, all Myanmar Muslims voted for NLD in 2050 election. Unfortunately, no single Rohingya were able to vote because they were disenfranchised before the election. After the landslide victory of NLD, Dong San Suu Kyi became state councillor of Myanmar, which is informally higher than the post of president of Myanmar. And also she became the Minister of President of his ministry. And also, she is responsible for the Foreign Affairs Ministry. A lot of posts. But NLD government is trying again to issue NBC card for Rohingya. I told previously this NBC card is not included in the 1982 citizenship law. But even NLD government was telling international community we are doing according to 1982 citizenship law. Please give us a space. What it means? It's already illegal. So even the NLD government, in the time of NLD government, no culprit of violence were taken action. Even religious minister of NLD accused all Muslims of Myanmar as guest citizen, which is associate citizen. In fact, Myanmar Muslim has a long story. 
Every historian know, every academician know. But I am not a historian, therefore I will not go further detail for that. As I explained earlier, the term associate citizenship and the whole law of 1982 is, as I explained, it is a weapon for the genocide or ethnic cleansing. Now, situational Muslims are the worst in the history of Myanmar. So because of time restriction, let me conclude. So I would like to conclude that ethnic cleansing and genocide agenda is still on the table of NND-led Burmese government. Therefore, we all need to be united. We all need to work hard in collaboration with international community to remove that agendas from the table of Burmese government. Thank you, everyone.